My first camera was a, a, a Kodak Comica Pop. And it was red. And Santa Claus brought it for me when I was 12. Because it was red? Because <laughs> it was red. Yeah. But it was Christmassy, so it was nice. That photograph there that you have now is when I was about 17. So the Conic Pop came with me to Cuba and took some of the best photographs I've ever taken. Um, the colours just were, they were brilliant. My dog, Sam. I loved that dog. I thought he was a horse, but he wasn't. It was a dog. I used to bring him up to the back garden, actually, and um, put him up against the wall and stand on his back and jump over the wall to get to play with my friends that lived, their house comes back at the end of our, on our house. He never complained. The best thing about the Polaroid is you always got to see the person's finger <laughs> that was taking the photograph. Well, my grandmother, to see. yeah, I know, yeah. My grandmother had an ability of taking the photograph, and no matter who was in it, you'd always see the kind of the tip of her finger. That's my New York. That New York photograph is called, as we call it, we have a nickname at home. It's called Fear because um, myself and Kate, my wife, um, we got asked to take a show over to Broadway three weeks before we were due to fly out. Um, 9/11 happened, and uh, so nobody was flying in and out of New York or for good reason. And then we thought, okay, the trip is off. And um, then about four, four or five days after the, the attack, um, Giuliani had gone on to a guy called Dermot, who was organizing it over there. And he said, uh, tell him to come over because nobody's going to come to New York. And we went over and we were about three or four days over there. And a, uh, there was an incident in the airport in New York and there was a crash. Go on. And they thought it was another terrorist attack. So nothing, was coming in or out, which meant that we didn't have any set. So our set was still in the airport. <laughs> and that picture is of me standing outside the theatre on Broadway with Kate saying, oh my God, what are we going to do? We have no set. So I, I remember when that photograph was taken, I said to Kate, should we just run, just leg it, just leg it down to Las Vegas and story. get the hell out of it. But later on, I think that we had, that was the next, it was, that was 11 o'clock about the day before, the day before we opened. And the day we opened, the set came in at half eight in the morning. I think the thing about the Polaroid, I was like, it was like, it was like the Rubik's Cube. It was like all those, it was like the speak and spell. The Polaroid was one of those fantastic, everybody had to have one, or had, had to have a go one. It was more interesting than the noise they were making. Can you do the that noise? That says a lot about you. Go but on. that was exciting. It was, it was, it was the sound of the eighties. It was like, no, I can't do it. I can. It was like a chicken. I can't do it. But it was brilliant to take the thing and. I don't need to say anything. No. At all. I listened. Do that again. But no.